Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about pros and cons of toy poodles and why you may or may not want to have these cute little things in your house. But first, as I'm sure you all came here to watch, Molly being cute. Let's go. Who wants to be in another video? Hey, you want to be in another video? Look at all your subscribers. Look, look there, all your subscribers. Now that's the door. They're not coming through the door. You know, there's a pandemic, they can't really travel. But look over there. Oh, 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 I jump up, I jump up. Don't be like that. One of the best things about toy poodles. Look at the face, look at the face here. Look at it, it's adorable, it's adorable. And it's a lot of, it's one of the main reasons why a lot of people choose poodles, especially toy poodles, because look, they are beautiful. They are fluffy and soft. They're just a little teddy bear, a little teddy bear of a creature that is so happy to see you and wags its tail every single time. They come in all different colors, shapes, sizes, uh, you can trim their fur as you want them. Uh, they're very well proportioned dogs and very good to look at. So that is reason number one. And how can you argue with that? Number two is that they don't shed their fur. This is great if you have dog allergies. We have a video on that here. But also, you're not gonna make a mess in the house. I've seen so many houses where every single day you have to get the hoover out, hoover up all the fur. It gets all over the sofa and the bed. But we don't get that with her. Apart from the fact she's very small, she doesn't lose her hair. So we don't have to deal with all the mess. Number three, poodles are one of the most intelligent breeds out there. They're very easily trained. They always want to learn and want to train and learn new things. Um, so that makes things like house training, another video here, super easy for you. And it gives you the chance to have the best dog possible. Now, poodles in general, they're very loving and friendly. Get on with everyone. They're very, Molly especially, likes to have cuddles from everyone she meets. She's a little bit shy, but once she gets to know you, all she does is want to go and have cuddles. They're very good with children. They're lively dogs and they're playful dogs, um, but they're not too energetic. You're gonna have to run a marathon every single day when you take them for a walk. Also because they're so small and their legs move so fast that you can't go that, go that far anyway. That leads in nicely to the fact that they are travel friendly dogs. Molly being about, about four kilos now, that's what, eight pounds, uh, is not the heaviest dog and not the biggest dog. And so being on a lap like this is absolutely fine. You can have them in the car, you can even take them on some air aircraft. Some airlines don't allow you, so make sure to check. But you can take them in the cabin with you, have them lit under the seat in front. And they're just very convenient. They don't get in the way. They're not making a mess. And most hotels, uh, even if they are not so happy with pets, something small like that that doesn't lose their fur, it's usually not a problem. So they are great if you love to travel. Now we'll move on to things that aren't so great about toy poodles and maybe why you might consider other breeds. Uh, grooming is number one. Because they don't shed their fur, which is an advantage, it doesn't mean you, you have to take extra special care. You have to brush them every day. We do have another video on the grooming of a toy poodle. Um, it just a bit more effort to take care of them, brushing them making sure they uh, don't get any knots or anything like that. But the, the time saved hoover in your house every day is the same time that you're gonna spend just brushing your dog for five minutes or so. Uh, so it's not the end of the world. Now toy poodles generally as a breed, they're very sensitive dogs. Uh, they're very sensitive to loud noises or to strong emotions. So 
If you do have a house that's very chaotic, very loud, there's a lot of children shouting all the time, maybe it's not the best environment because they do suffer from it. They're very, like I say, they're very sensitive and it's not the best environment for them. They like a nice calm life, like everyone really. Now, as well as being sensitive to noise and stress, they also suffer from separation anxiety. Molly has it quite bad. It's probably her own fault because we haven't really left her alone. The other thing is for the last year and a half, you know, we've always been at home with the pandemic. And so it means that we've always been with her. And so even now you know, we go to the supermarket and we'll leave her on her own, but she, she doesn't like it. So we try and keep her uh, around as much as possible. So if you do have a job where you can't take her with you. And if you do have a job that will leave the dog at home all day, maybe a toy boodle isn't best for you. Maybe something else uh, would be better for that situation. The other thing we've said that it's good them being small. However, especially when they're puppies, but even now they are very delicate creatures. Uh, even though there's this massive fur here, you can't see inside that the bones are tiny, 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 which does make them delicate and you do need to be careful. This means if you do have small children, it might not be the best idea unless you are sure that they're not gonna try and grab them by the leg and you know do some damage. Uh, if your children are old enough to understand you know, and you can teach them how to handle uh, the dog without hurting them, it's okay, but if they're too small to understand that or they just think, okay, this is my fluffy toy, I'm gonna grab it and maybe they'll do some damage. So maybe a bigger dog would be better for that. The last thing is something the poodles and smaller dogs in general uh, can suffer with is barking. Molly doesn't have this problem too much. Every now and again, she'll hear some noises outside and start barking to protect us because you know she's a big, strong guard dog. But these breeds do have a tendency to be a little bit more uh, noisy than perhaps other breeds. So if that is gonna annoy you, annoy your neighbors, maybe something to consider. So I hope this video was helpful. Molly didn't really contribute much. She's been sleeping the whole way, but I guess we can forgive her for that. Hope it was helpful. If you have any other tips, please leave them in the comments below. Any questions as well? Please like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.